All right, we're gonna go ahead and um, leave the default uh, uh, path of where it's gonna be installed because this is for testing. I'm gonna install it on local on the C drive and then hit next. Okay, we need to come up with a site code. This is very important. This is a unique site code. You cannot change this. Once you change it, um, you're going to have a whole lot of issues. So um, you cannot change the site code. This is going to be what your, what, what your site is going to be called. So um, you have to come up with something. It's a three-character uh, site code. Um, you know, people will choose different things um, since this is installed in the sheer technology domain. Uh, I'm just gonna call it SHT for sheer technology. And then you need to come up with some sort of a name. Is this a, you know, as they have it, is this the headquarters site? This is whatever the name is. Um, since I called my site corporate. I'm gonna leave this. Oops. I'm gonna leave this as corporate site. Remember, in the very first part in Active Directory, we renamed our site. You don't have to do that, but I just like to keep mine the same. I'm just gonna hit next. Okay. Now you have two choices here. You can install this in a native mode or you can install this in a mixed mode. We're gonna be installing this in the mixed mode because it's a lot easier. Because for native mode, you need to have a, um, as it says, a current public key infrastructure, the PKI, which is a certificate server already set up. And um, this is hi highly secure. This is probably the most secure way of doing it but this is very complex because you need to have um, a, a, a certificate server set up because computers are going to be sending back and forth certificates for authentication and so on and so forth. This will also allow automatic acceptance of new sites within your um, new clients within your uh, site. Um, so you don't necessarily have to accept them. You could do that in a mixed mode. And there's a way you can go back around and later videos will go through that uh, but for this scenario right now um, we don't have a PKI server set up so we're gonna go with a mix mode because this video is on how to learn SCCM and how to install SCCM um, we're gonna focus on that and not how to install and learn PKI because that is a very complex and takes a while to set up so that's a separate video in itself we're not gonna mess with that uh, it, will, it, it will completely work in a mixed mode environment so choose that and hit next okay here as you can see all the necessary components are check marked for us these are different modules within the SCCM software hardware advertise program remote control so on and so forth I'm gonna leave this unchecked because this is good for only 2008 um, networks or Active Directory which we do have and later on we'll um, in the later videos I'll go ahead and um, uh, activate this but for now you accept the default let everything be checked marked and hit next okay uh, this is your server name and your site code just leave it as it is leave the defaults and hit next okay then again this is the um, your database just leave the defaults and hit next okay we're gonna hit next We're going to install the management point. This is at this location. Hit next. Leave the defaults and hit next.
check for update. Um, all right. Well, here this is a bit. Normally, you would want to leave the check for update, and what this is going to do, it's going to go out there and download and install the latest updates for you because it wants to make sure by the time you are done installing SCCM that it is completely up to date so this will check for updates for you which is the recommended way of doing it uh, what I did beforehand was I already downloaded the updates and we're gonna point to it but this you would want to keep the first one okay uh, because I've, I've already downloaded the updates I'm gonna choose a second one but you would want to go with the first one hit next it's going to ask for the location of the um, file so I'm going to click on browse I'm going to go out to my location where I have downloaded the updates and I'm going to hit next here you just review all the settings you have made everything looks okay we're going to go ahead and hit next. This is going to go through and make sure everything is set up correctly so I can start installing. It's going to as you can as you saw this it's going to go through and verify the prerequisite uh, prerequisites w one last time. So it really wants you to make sure the prerequisites are done. So it's gonna so for example say you have not done anything and you've not run the prerequisites at all when you come to this point it's gonna run through the prerequisites automatically this is uh, uh, just to ensure that everything is okay and you'll have all these issues if you had not installed the prerequisites so the, so I mean this is pretty pretty cool you know it wants you to make sure everything's done all right hit next begin install I mean and this is going to take a, a, a good significant um, time for it to go through. So I'm going to pause this video and once it's done, we'll continue on from there. Hi, okay, we're back. So it looks like it completed um, everything. All the points are installed, which is really good. That means we had configured everything properly. Good. So we hit next. And here you can either launch uh, the, uh, the SCCM manager or view the log. We'll go ahead and launch it and click on finish. And this is going to launch the uh, configuration manager um, window for us. It's going to add the snap in. Okay. All right. So this is our site and this is our corporate site, that, uh, the site that we had specified. And looks like everything is there. Everything is good to go. Um, and this would be the installation of SCCM. In the next video, I am going to show you how to send out the um, client and verify all the uh, how to install uh, clients on. Um, uh, machines on your network it's gonna pull them it's gonna go ahead and inventory them and then we'll go through the um, inventory process we'll go through the reporting process we'll go through the discovery methods different configurations software dis distributions I'll briefly touch upon all those so for all int intents purposes if you didn't have any error messages and once this uh, configuration manager manager is load then you're good to go the SCCM is now installed within your network and you are ready to deploy um, different packages and do your inventory and so on and so forth this is a very powerful tool uh, so stay tuned and we'll go through these other um, videos then alrighty have a good day bye bye